One of my most viewed videos is one where I program an AT Tiny using one of these sockets and showing how to set that up. And uh, I've been wanting to rectify that for a while because, well, this thing is rubbish. If you're using an Arduino to uh, burn a bootloader onto the uh, AT Tiny, then you might as well just use the uh, Arduino to program it as well. And that way you don't have to uh, pull up uh, pin 3 to get it to work and I think it's also lower memory. So in this tutorial I will be showing the correct way of uh, programming AT Tinies with uh, an Arduino. This does not include the new range of AT Tinies that have just come out but I will be making a tutorial on how to program them as well later on because that's also fairly easy. The materials needed will be basically exactly the same as before. You'll need a breadboard, an Arduino, and I'll be using the Uno. And then you'll need a 10 microfarad capacitor, and you'll need a couple of uh, wires. However, before we start wiring, we're gonna have to connect the Arduino as it is to the computer. I'm going to assume here that you have already installed the Arduino IDE. So just go to examples and load the Arduino ISP example. And then make sure that you have uh, set the board to the correct one you're using, in my case the Arduino Uno, the correct port obviously, and then just upload that. Now that it's been programmed, it's time to connect it. So the first thing you want to do is to take your 10 microfarad capacitor and put it with a long leg on res and a short leg on one of the ground connections like that. Then let's start from physical pin 1 which is up here which is the reset one and I'm gonna put that on pin 10 on the Arduino and uh, then we have the ground pin which is the physical pin 4 and that should just go to one of the ground connections on uh, the Arduino. And now if we continue from physical pin 5 down here we should go to uh, pin 11, physical pin 6, 12, physical pin 7, to 13, and finally the uh, power input pin should just go to 5 volts. There we go, we should be able to uh, program our AT Tiny now. First off, we'll need to install the actual board. So go to settings and additional board manager URLs and uh, paste in the URL that you can find in the description. Then we'll go to the boards manager and search for AT Tiny. And then install that. Next, I'm going to load up the basic Blink example. And because uh, this board doesn't come with the uh, built-in LED constant, we're just going to have to uh, define that ourselves as a variable. And I'll be setting it to GPIO 0. Next, make sure that the programmer is set to Arduino as ISP and then we'll select the board that we're going to be using, in this case 80Tiny85. I'm also going to be changing the clock to uh, the internal 16 MHz one, and uh, then burn the bootloader. You'll only need to burn the bootloader the first time you upload a sketch, and whenever you change the clock frequency. Once the bootloader is done, we can now compile and upload the sketch the usual way. At this point you can now start using your AT Tiny. Just move it out of the slot. In this case I uploaded the blink test, so I'm gonna put my LED on pin 0 through to a resistor to ground, connect a battery on the ground. And there we go. 
If you're completely new to using these AT Tinies, you should probably be aware that the uh, data sheet specifies that you should put a 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor between ground and voltage. That's all you need to know for the AT Tiny 85. But in order to use the AT Tiny 13, which is an even cheaper one with one kilobyte of flash, it's uh, a little bit different. The connections are still the same, so you just connect it up the exact same way that you did the AT Tiny 85. But we're going to have to install another library for this. You'll install the AT Tiny 13 the same way as you did the 85 by just pasting the link into the board manager URLs, then uh, going to the board manager. Searching for AT Tiny, and there you will find uh, Microcore. Then set the active board to AT Tiny 13. And in this case, I'm going to leave it on the default clock, which is 9.6 megahertz internal, and burn the bootloader. Now the microcore does have the LED built-in constant, so we're going to have to delete that before uploading the sketch. In this case, the uh, LED built-in is uh, actually on uh, IO2 or physical pin 7. So I'll just move the LED there, put power on, and we have it working. So if you want to program the uh, AT Tiny 85 or 13 by using Arduino, then this is the uh, preferred way, because you don't have to uh, pull up uh, IO3.